Disruptive Technologies for Accessibility 2021. Before I begin, maybe I'll do an audio description of uh, how I look. I'm 27 years old. Um, I come from India. I have a brown skin, um, and I have a black hair with a little bit whitening in the hair. Um, I'm wearing a white shirt with the jeans and really nice shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, before I begin, also, I want to congratulate uh, the team at Envision, Vanessa, uh, Karthik, the second Karthik, um, Anisha, for, for having an opportunity for uh, tech startups to bring them together uh, in one place, uh, to give them a platform, and more importantly, um, show unity in Netherlands uh, in terms of accessibility. I think uh, that's huge. Never been done before, I would say. Done before, but maybe not with tech startups. Um, so it's a, it's a new thing, and I hope uh, we continue this uh, next year. So kudos to you. <laughs> um, well, I come from India, and uh, my I've been I lived my entire childhood uh, with my granddad, uh, who was visually impaired. So he was not somebody who was uh, born uh, blind, um, but he slowly, after the age of fifty, just um, yeah, uh, had a disability and lost his sight and vision completely. Um, that was a trigger for me at some point as an engineering and a design student um, that how do people who are visually impaired actually connect to, to the society? How do they uh, socialize and um, how do they even express themselves or connect with others? And that, that aspect spoke a lot about, uh, about being equal to me that especially in the last two years, if you're not able to socialize or express yourself, uh, you, you, you're, you're quite behind and, and that's, that's a trouble sign. Um, and that's mission for Hebel in general, to how do we empower people who are visually impaired to, to do more in their life. Um, and with that, we began a journey in, in the Netherlands. Um, and today I want to speak a little bit about community building and technology, because throughout my journey, I've um, felt the need to connect the two. One cannot exist without the other in this market. Um, and I hate calling it the market, but it's really uh, the community and the assistive technologies cannot exist without um, contributing to each other. Um, and that was probably the biggest lesson for us, that we need the community for the assistive technologies to exist. but for the existing technologies to be made, we also need help from the other side. Um, and that's what we also want to talk about after this, uh, when we meet, that if you have great ideas around how do we bring people together, how do we collaborate together in, um, on the product side, how do we collaborate together in not only access to those technologies, but um, through the channels and mediums that could provide them Basically, you should be able to buy technology going out as, as easy as you could buy maybe groceries at Alpatine. Uh, it should be more accessible than what it is right now. Um, we at Hable, a little bit about what we do. Um, we are trying to solve problems around uh, texting and text editing or being able to use technology. Um, current challenges include using speech to text or using the screen with voiceover or talkback. Um, and these challenges, yes, uh, these technologies were built and they, they, they can be learned quite quickly, but we learned that there is a large part of the community that cannot. And like my granddad, who was not maybe born blind, it took him quite some time. It took him quite some time to just understand how technology works. And that's the gap right now, which is 10 years, in my opinion. 10 years where somebody can use the technology at the same level that they used to as sighted people after they become visually impaired. And that's the, that's the motivation to reduce that gap and to make it easy for somebody to get back to using technology or those voiceovers um, as fast as possible. So we, we focus on, on making such tools and one of those tools is um, a keyboard uh, it's a braille keyboard which fits uh, into uh, your pocket. So it could fit into a pocket of a uh, white, or sorry, 
It could fit into a pocket of a jeans uh, or a woman's purse. Um, it's in my hand right now. It has a black body and uh, white buttons. It has six buttons, which are the braille dots, and two big buttons, which are the function keys. So it's essentially a braille keyboard with eight buttons on one side. It's on the, it's, it weighs equal to an egg, um, and it can be used as a Bluetooth keyboard for smartphones, uh, for laptops, um, to just use, use, use the laptop and the phone or type with it. Um, we've been, or I've been working on the project for four years now, um, but it only became um, a product uh, recently. And I always call myself an accidental entrepreneur because uh, I never said I wanted to do entrepreneurship, but it was really about, hey, I need to really solve this challenge. How do I do this? And then, oh, you need to start your own company and bring this product to the market, which is exponentially difficult, especially if you're a hardware company. So all the support that we needed from the community was, it was amazing. 2019 we, or 2018, we were at the Zizo Burst, and I did not expect the level of enthusiasm that was there from the community to just give feedback, because that, that's what's gonna make our journey even more easier to making products and providing it to the market. Um, the Hable team is here, like Vanessa said, in pink hoodies. They smell like roses. And um, if you, uh, we would love to talk about building communities. And also, how do we uh, bring those communities close together to technology startups and work together because it's, it's a joint collaboration. Thanks, and I uh, hope to speak to you soon. Disruptive Technologies for Accessibility 2021. Brought to you by Envision.